So in this video, I'm gonna quickly go through the different things that happen when a circle is a tangent to one of the axes, all right? So there are three cases. Either it can be a tangent to the x-axis, like in this first picture, if we scroll down, or else it can be a tangent to the y-axis, like in this picture, or else finally it can be a tangent to both axes at the same time. So in this case, I'm only talking about when it's a tangent to the positive axis, but it can be a tangent to anywhere in any of these four quadrants, all right? Um, so in this video, I'm gonna go through the rules that happen when uh, when this is true, in the next video, we're gonna look at an example question where we have to use those rules, all right? So the first thing we're gonna look at is when a circle is a tangent to the x-axis. So tangent to the x-axis, we know that at the center point of a circle is gonna be given by minus g and minus f, all right? Um, so that means this here is the center point, is minus g minus f, and remember, the first one is the x-coordinate, and then the second one is the y-coordinate, so how far it is along the x or the y-axis. So if you think of that, that this is minus g along the x-axis, that means that this point here, so directly under the uh, center point is equal to minus g on the x-axis. So that can be helpful sometimes, that the point where it hits the x-axis is minus g. The second point we need to think about is about the radius of the circle. So if you think of the radius, the radius is the same the whole way around, so from the center point all the way out. So these are all the different radius of the circle, and it's the exact same distance. So if we want to find the radius of the circle, we can easily find it by saying, look, if the radius goes directly down, that distance there is the exact same as the distance it is up, up the y-axis. So that means this distance here is going to be minus f, all right? Or else they put it in uh, modulus brackets just because you can't have a minus answer as the radius. So basically, whatever the, the y value is, remember the y value is going to be how high it is up. That's going to be the center point of the circle, the, the f. That's also equal to the radius because if it goes to the very bottom of the circle is at the x-axis, how far up is going to be the radius. So I'm going to write that. So there I just scribbled in the radius is equal to the modulus of minus f or else just the positive y value of the center point. All right. So whatever the center point is, we're going to take the positive value of that and that's equal to the radius. All right. So that's the useful things about if a uh, circle is a tangent to the x-axis. Now it's going to be the same almost for a tangent to the y-axis. It's just going to be backwards, all right? So again, this time it's going to be a tangent to the y-axis. So uh, again, the center point is minus g minus f. And this minus f here, the y-value, is how high up the center point is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. yeah? So this is how high up the center point is. And this is also where it hits the y-axis because the center point is going to be so now my picture isn't great it looks like it hits the y-axis down there but it's supposed to hit the y-axis directly beside where the center point is so that means this value here where it hits the y-axis is equal to minus f and also the same thing is going to be true about the radius in this case except in this case the radius is going to be minus or the modulus of minus g okay so in this case, the radius equals the modulus of minus g, because remember, minus g is the x value of the center point. So that to get the x value, you're gonna have to go one, two, three, four, say across. So whatever the x value is of the center point, that's the same as the radius, because it's the same distance from the y-axis. All right, so I'll write that. So I have that written in there, that the radius is equal to the modulus of minus g, or else it's just the positive x value of the center point. Right? So if you do forget this, it's easiest to draw a little uh, diagram out for either of these two, and you can kind of figure it out that the y value is going to be the same as the radius there. So it's going to be hard to remember those things exactly. So again, if it's a tangent to the x-axis, where it hits the x-axis is minus g, uh, and the radius is the positive y value, yeah? And then it's when it, where it hits the y-axis, sorry, when it's a tangent to the y-axis, where it hits the y-axis uh, is going to be at minus f, and then the radius is the modulus of minus g. So it is hard to remember which one is which. That's why drawing out a diagram is probably the easiest way to do it. And then the last one now is if it's tangent to both axes at the same time. So in this case, the center point is still going to be minus g minus f. But in this case, the most important thing to remember is that g is equal to f. All right, so it's going to be the exact same distance from the y-axis as it is from the x-axis. So g is always going to be equal to f. Um, for a circle that is a tangent to both axes, all right? And also, the radius of this circle, so the radius is gonna be equal to the modulus of minus g, and is also gonna be equal to the modulus of minus f, all right? So it's gonna be the modulus of both of those, because 
it's the same distance from the x-axis to the y-axis, and that's the radius. Both those distances are the exact same. So that's it for this video. Uh, we just looked at the three different cases where the circle was a tangent to both axes, where the circle was a tangent to the y-axis, and finally where the circle is a tangent to the x-axis. So in the next two videos, we're going to do uh, some examples on how to use these. So the next video is going to be easy enough example. The last video is going to be quite a difficult example, excuse me, using these pieces of information. So um, yeah, make sure to watch on so you know exactly how to use these in a problem. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.